Hello, hopefully you have worked your way through our uh, assignment here today. And here we're gonna talk about how to find all the answers and you can check your work. If you made a mistake, run back up there and fix it, it's okay. Um, so let's look at number four here. So this, we've got this picture here. Um, we've got the start is 45 milliliters, a final volume of 50 milliliters, and we want to know what the actual volume is of the item in there. So let's read our question. The initial volume in a graduated cylinder is 45 milliliters. The final volume is 50 milliliters. What is the object's volume? So if you remember, we're going to have to subtract the final volume from the initial volume to get the object's volume. So I have set the worksheet that we're working on in class here in front of me. So this is what it looks like that we're doing here. But I'm going to work this out for you. I want you to put your notes on a piece of paper just like we do all the time. If you email those to me, I can give you extra credit for this. So this says number 15 on the paper. We're not worrying about that. We're going to worry about the number on the form. So it's number four on the form, right? So we need to find the volume. We've got an initial volume of 45 milliliters. We've got a final volume of 50 milliliters. So the volume of the item in there is going to be this final volume. So 50, 50 milliliters minus 45 because that's our initial volume. And what are we going to get right there? That's right. 50 minus 45 is 5 milliliters. So there's our volume. That is the answer to this question right here. We don't have to take that one any further. It's just, just asking you to find the volume. And you're going to do that by subtracting the final volume from the initial volume. Okay. So there, we'll click on our answer, 5 milliliters. Let's look at number five. So I'm going to put five on my paper. Here um, we've got our picture and it says the initial volume in a graduated cylinder is 75 milliliters. The final volume is 90 milliliters. What is the object's volume? So they have dropped the item in there. So it's this one right here. So we're going to scoot them up a little bit. I'm going to put a five and a four right there. So we're working on number five. Our initial volume is 75. Our final volume is 90 milliliters. And we're gonna subtract the two. The final volume right here, so 90 milliliters minus 75 milliliters and if you don't want to do that math in your head you don't have to you can use your calculator if you want to but um, 70 uh, 90 minus 75 is 15 milliliters so our final volume is 15 milliliters so let's go back to our form we'll make sure we'll select the right answer here. So there's 15 milliliters. That's the right answer. So down here for number six, it says an irregularly shaped object has a mass of 25 grams. The initial volume in a graduated cylinder is 45 milliliters. The final volume is 50 milliliters. Using this information, what is the object's density? So if you're thinking that the initial volume of 45 milliliters with a final volume of 50 milliliters is familiar, that's because I took those numbers from this question. So let's go find the density. My lights need to come back on. All right, so we're working with the same information we had for number four, only we're looking for the density now. So density equals mass divided by volume, right? Okay, so I'm going to work this out just like I have every other problem. I've got a spot for my mass, a spot for my volume, and here is where I'm going to put my answer. Okay, 
I might have to fold this up or something. I don't have enough space. Ah! Okay, that'll work. Okay, so we've already got our mass. It's given to us in the question. Our mass is 25 grams. So I'm going to put that right here, 25 grams. And we figured our volume already. That's 5 milliliters. So all we have to do there is the math. And we've been doing density equals mass divided by volume for days. So 25 divided by 5 is 5. Five, and then we've got to bring our units down. Remember, units are super duper important for science. So density is five grams per milliliter. We don't have to do a cube thing for milliliter because that's already in a cubic form. So milliliter is a milliliter, all right? So we've got five grams per milliliter is our answer. Let's come over here and Five grams per milliliter. Now my mouse is being silly. Get over there. Okay. All right. Let's look at number seven. So an irregularly shaped object has a mass of 60 grams. The initial volume in a graduated cylinder is 75 milliliters. The final volume is 50, uh, 90 milliliters. Using this information, what is the object's density? So those numbers should sound familiar too. That's the volume that we figured out for number five. So we're going to come back over here to our paper, and we're going to find the density now. So number five, let me pull this up. Got a little bit of space. Okay, number five. We've already figured out the volume for number five. Now we need the density. So D equals mass divided by volume. Density equals a spot for my mass, a spot for my volume, and here I will put my answer. Okay? So we need mass first. Our mass, the question said, is 60 grams. 60 grams. Our volume, we figured that up, is 15 milliliters. Here we go. We do a little bit of math on there. So we got 60 grams divided by 15 milliliters. And the answer here is four. We're bringing our units down, grams per milliliter. So our answer is four grams per milliliter. Let's come over here and put our answer in the form. There we go. And we will look at number eight. So Number eight says, an irregularly shaped object has a mass of 10 grams. The initial volume in a graduated cylinder is 30 milliliters. The final volume is 50 milliliters. Using this information, what is the object's density? So, my mouse is being silly. Here we go. That is this question right there. So, Here's my paper. We're going to do, um, we need to find our volume first, right? So for this one, we need the initial volume we see is 30. The final volume, FV, is 50. To get our volume, we're going to subtract the final volume, which is 50, from our initial volume which is 30 milliliters, and we're gonna get 20. So our volume is 20 milliliters. So the next step here, we've got 20 milliliters for the volume, now we need to find the density. So we remember density equals mass divided by volume. I'm gonna give myself a space for my mass divided by my volume, and then here is where I will write my answer. So, for our mass, our problem told us that it was 10 grams. So, I'm going to put 10 grams right there. And our volume we figured out right here is 20 milliliters. We do a little bit of math. 10 divided by 20 is 2. Nope, I'm sorry. 0 0.5. 0 0.5 grams per milliliter. So there's our answer for that one. We can go put that into our, oops, 
into our form. So the answer is density equals 0 0.5 grams per milliliter. What is going on? It's crazy. I think my hands are dry or something. It's not wanting to do what I tell it to. Come on, thing. Oh my goodness. Technical difficulties here, folks. Come on, mouse. Get back over here. Okay, so an irregularly shaped object has a mass of uh, 10 grams. Again, the initial volume in a graduated cylinder is 55 milliliters, and the final volume is 85 milliliters. Using this information, what is the object's density? So, we'll come back over here, and here's the, the paper. Okay, so what we mean do we need to find the volume first? So the initial volume is 55 milliliters. The final volume is 85 milliliters. Now we need to subtract the final volume. So 85 milliliters minus 55. And then once we do that, our volume is going to equal 30 milliliters. So V equals 30 milliliters. So that is our volume right there. So we could write 30 milliliters right there. Um, now we need to take that and find our density. So we've been doing this for days. Density equals mass divided by volume. D equals... I'm going to give myself a spot for the mass and a spot for the volume. Density equals, that's where I'll put my answer. So our mass is right here, 10 grams. Okay. Our volume, we just figured up, is 30 milliliters. So we need to do some math on that. So 10 divided by 30 is 0 0.33. And a whole bunch more threes after that, but we only need two decimal places. So, grams per milliliter. We've always got to have our unit. So, let's come over here and we will select the correct answer, 0 0.33 grams per milliliter. And that's it. So, this placement is a little bit more complicated, but you guys are amazing. Um, and you're going to get it. Hopefully you already have. We're going to practice some more of these problems tomorrow. We're going to put all three of them together, and you guys um, can just practice, practice, practice. So um, our test is going to be on Friday next week. Just a little heads up on that. If you have any questions or you need any help, please let me know. You can ask me in the questions channel, or you can send me an email. We'll see you all tomorrow.